And that's our speaker, Emmanuel Chris Welsh, who's a champion for labor. So uh, give a round of applause. He's not here before our speaker, Emmanuel Chris Welsh. Because none of those bills are passing without the speaker allowing it to pass. And he appoints me to be the chairman of the labor committee. Uh, and I think he does that because I don't need motivation to support labor. You know, I we lived on a block with an IBW 134 worker named Robert Moore. He had the bucket truck. He worked for Conmates to bring the bucket truck over. But he took that money. He had three boys. And there was a lot of boys who had single moms and would have been in the streets. And he transformed the lives of a lot of young men with that ComEd money, taking us to the vacation. He, he took boys from the hood to the all type. And I was one of those kids that could have went the wrong direction. So one job does make a difference. So that always fused my passion for supporting labor. Because I look out here, one of y'all could change the lives of 20 guys, 30 guys, and redirect a whole family's generation. Uh, labor and supporting the working man is a part of my life. So I gladly support it. But specifically with you all, infrastructure in this country is in disrepair. Okay. Let's get folks working. Because as we get folks working, the tents are gonna get bigger. I wanna see more women, I wanna see more black people, I wanna see more minorities, but we gotta get more work. We always put the cart before the horse. Let's increase the work, let's build the infrastructure of the United States. We got a great backstop in myself, Marcus Evans, and of course, Speaker Emmanuel Chris Welsh and your team for the AFL. So thank you so much to all your leadership. Again, I respect you, I appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to continue to fight for the working man because that's what's in my heart. So thank you so much.